So you want to um, you want to wear a mask when you're sharpening your tungstens for TIG welding. You got to you want to wear a mask. It says right here, thorium is radioactive and may present hazards by external and internal exposure during the grinding of electro tips where there is generation of radioactive dust with the risk of internal exposure. Consequently, it is necessary to use local exhaust ventilation to control the dust at the source. Anyway, now you just stick it in a little drill, the electrode. Turn your grinder on. There's different ways of doing it. This works fine in most instances. They have other, uh, they have other stuff that it's like $300 just to sharpen this thing. There's different methods you could use. This is the fastest, easiest method to do. You want to stick it in a, a drill, turn it. Unfortunately, this one wasn't that straight. Rotate it and go up like that. It was a little bent, so it didn't come out that great. That's all you need to do to sharpen the tungsten electrode. It's pretty sharp. It's going to do what it needs to do when we do the uh, TIG welding. You want to get it to the point. Sometimes you can get it to the point, and then you'll hit it a small amount just to flatten the tip, a small amount depending on what you're used to. I got the gas coming, so I'll be doing some TIG welding. Anyways, that's the easiest method to uh, to sharpen it. This one looks not that great, actually. That's a little better. You get nice little swirl marks in there. The electrode, I bent the electro a little bit, but anyways, that'll do for what it's what you need it to do. This is a three thirty seconds. So like no, wait, what is this? This rod right here is a uh, one sixteenth. Some people use the larger rods and then they get them to the point. They sharpen them all the way down to get them and they'll use one electrode but it's it's better to use the correct electrode for what you're using. Smaller electrode for a smaller uh, amperage. Anyways, that's how you sharpen the tungsten. You're going to be doing TIG welding. That's the easiest, cheapest way most people have a, a bench grinder. Anyways, thanks for watching.